Hey, muy buenas. Bienvenidos. This tree man has profound love and affection for everyone in this room. I am Groot. A la parte dos. Oh, not everyone. Some of you he has mixed feelings about. <coughs> he is pleased that someone can understand his true feelings. Mantis is an empath, Groot. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. Please just trust her. For me. I don't trust people for other people. I trust people for I me. I am Groot? What do you mean? That totally makes sense. So how is the bug connected to all this? Oh, I can explain. <sighs> long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like... Now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Star-Lord baby. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago. The Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a oh, way to balance you. the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be oh, wielded yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the Forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right mm -hmm, path. Mm -hmm. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Cree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge yeah, with the, the wisdom the required. Forge. Eventually, the forge and I were separated, locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, oh. thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm, what an interesting and relevant story. Just glad we heard it all, champ. Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. There is a legend of the Celestial One, the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced <laughs> intellect. Emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. That's. <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the celestial one. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... Undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. Well, that sucks. Who is sucking what? No, he means that is unfortunate. It does not have to suck. What do we gotta do? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living 
Lost ones. Loved ones. I suppose hated ones, too. If you were so inclined. Though I do not know why. That seems ill-advised. Esta mierda But es peligrosa. It is Peter's decision to make. You can bring back anyone? Like anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. La letra pequeña, ¿no? So someone still has to die for the thing to work. And let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes. Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right now. Hollow wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. Am Groot. I Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone oh, that Dios, we pero... lost. Esta mierda hay que destruirla, joder. Aunque seguramente algún malo la acabará usando antes de, de que la destruyamos, ¿ves? No es lo típico. Y volverá a Thanos a la vida, seguramente. Bueno, Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please. Stop talking. Okay. okay. Yeah, not talking. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. <laughs> They look to you for guidance. Help them. Veamos que le pica. Drax, how are you doing? I am distraught. The Forge can bring my family back, yet you consider destroying it. Well, I... You are our leader, and it is your decision. So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not trust me to guard Nebula. Well, that... And you did not behave in a trustworthy manner just now. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Even if the tree did not mind. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. It Bad taste on my part. I am glad you are so apologetic. Though I do not understand how your mistake could taste badly. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Okay. Trabajo concluido. Continuamos con el resto. Groot, ¿qué tal, amigo mío? ¿Eh? Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the forge. I am Groot. 
Bien, bien, bien. Conversación sencilla. Hey, bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What are you? I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. Está borracho. I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? This falls into the wrong hands, the whole galaxy is screwed. The whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah, the only ones you're screwing are your so-called friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Better than your worthless hide. Lila would be ashamed of you right now. You saw one damn memory of her. And you're talking like you knew her? Go to hell, Pete. Only this time, don't come back. I am Groot. You can both go to hell. What? Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Sí, bueno. Continuamos, nos queda Gamora. Pero qué coño. Fine. 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 ¿Qué coño pasa aquí, joder? Hey, are you okay? What the hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while, uh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. No pierdas. Don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying, but I just can't find the right. Words with her, but maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space, without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Sí, yo también lo creo. Madre mía, qué mala leche. Bien, tengo que hablar con, tengo que hablar con Nebula. No. Bueno, todavía le duele la cabecilla, así que diría que sí. Nebula, no me pegues, vale. Eso es lo primero, por favor. Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, Peter Quill, but, uh, yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Oh man, you were awesome, and you only had one arm. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh yeah? What did you see? Ah, she saved your life from that Kree general dude. 
I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Vale. <laughs> Esto va a ser interesante. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Esa mano cuenta. Como es de, bueno, metal. Whoa. Is everything all right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. <laughs> it was easy. I barely broke a sweat. It may have been easy for you, Nebula, but it was not easy. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me, but I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. Mm. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher and my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. Thanos lo recordará. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Está muerto, pero lo recordará. Eso ya no está diciendo. Vamos a ver desde la perspectiva de esta muchacha qué es lo que ocurrió. Oh. oh, Dios mío. Joder, vaya hostia. Madre mía, cómo puedo aguantar. Y ahí es cuando aparece ella y... Nebula, Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. Tarval was about to kill you, Nebula. I just saved your life. I know you want to impress Thanos, but trust me, he is not worth dying over. Nebula. Father. You don't need Gamora anymore. And neither do I. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me... The device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me. Now! 
I'm not asking here. Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. Ella no quería, pero era eso o dejar que Thanos la matara. Pero por supuesto, primero la haría sufrir mucho. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. Relax. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Ahora voy a tener que decidir darle la razón a una u a otra. Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your life. Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part, the most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here. Demorle un voto de confianza. They killed you. I'm pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. Es una super asesina. Podría haber matado a Gamora dándole en un punto vital, ¿no? Pero no lo hizo. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something? What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever agree with. Maybe you just aren't listening. If I'm not, there's probably a guys, guys, stop! You both want the same thing. He's actually right. It happens sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could give each other a chance. All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Bien, por fin. Vamos. Let's go. Todos juntos, todos juntos, incluido el borrachillo. Ay, Rocker, 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 madre. 